welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. I'm Amy Johnston and I want to say thank you for sticking around with me through these last five episodes. I really hope you've enjoyed them and I really hope you've watched them because today's episode is a bit more advanced. The guest I have on today is going to be taking us through a little bit more difficult combos that can be used when doing choreography for films, for you know just working out by yourself or with a partner or on a bag or just fighting invisible ninjas. With that said, I hope you're ready for the next episode of Hero Training. Hi everybody. <laughs> Thanks for having me. Yeah, of course, thank you for being here. So. She is somebody who I really look up to. She's extremely talented, and I'm so excited for her to be on the show. We are in, in my hometown, Sherman Oaks. Sometimes I like to train in the park, and it's a beautiful day, so why not take advantage of it? These are um, V10. It's a stunt woman's group that I'm a part of, and hopefully uh, Amy one day will join us. So today I'm gonna take you through some boxing drills that will help uh, warm us up, and it'll get the cardio going. Then we'll do like a simple uh, kicking combo, and then after that we'll do a mixed martial art combo with uh, a little bit of JKD and Taekwondo and boxing uh, incorporated in it. And then maybe we'll do some basic capoeira. So multi-talented, it's crazy. <laughs> okay, let's do it. So the first combo is gonna be a cross, low hook, high hook, and then cross, and we're gonna do that 10 times. Okay, so. Cross, low hook, high hook, cross. Great. Okay. All right, let's do this. One, okay. two, three. Okay, next one we're gonna do is lead hand, uppercut, rear arm, uppercut, hook, cross, slip, cross. So let's do it slow first, uppercut first, uppercut, uppercut, hook, cross, Slip, cross, and that's one. So let's do 10 now. Okay. Let's do the first couple slow just to get the combo down. It's more of a speed drill, but right now we're just gonna focus on the technique. So right now you're gonna really turn the hips over on each of those uppercuts and hooks. And then really come out for the slip and then cross. So I'm usually, I'm just pivoting a lot. Uppercut, uppercut, hook, cross, slip, cross, good. Now we're gonna add both combos together. We're gonna do that 10 times. So as a review, it is cross, low hook, high hook, cross, uppercut, uppercut, hook, cross, slip, cross. Okay. Slow, cross, hook, hook, cross, uppercut, uppercut, hook, cross, slip, cross. Cross, hook, hook, cross, uppercut, uppercut, hook, cross, slip, cross, good. I'm gonna come in with a fake jab into a roundhouse. So she's gonna hold for a roundhouse here, like a body hit. So I'm gonna fake the roundhouse. I'm gonna kick here, she's gonna do a cross. And I'm gonna do split entry. And I'm gonna do uppercut with the front hand, cross. Now we're gonna quarter turn, do a hook over here. Cross, uppercut, cross, elbow, knee, then we're gonna bring it back, do a side kick, and then we're gonna do a swing through a hook kick. Yeah. Awesome. Cool. All so right. let's do that slow. Yes. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna fake the jab. I'm gonna do a roundhouse. She's gonna cross. I'm gonna split entry, uppercut, cross, quarter turn hook, cross, uppercut, cross, elbow, knee, side kick, Swing through, hook. We're actually gonna use our arms and we're gonna jump half turn and then we're gonna just do a hook kick. 
and it's just gonna be a slight jump and that's all it is. So let's just do that a couple times. Swing through, hook. Again, swing through, hook. So now we're gonna do fake jab, roundhouse, cross, split entry, uppercut, cross, quarter turn hook, cross, uppercut, cross, elbow, knee, side kick. Swing through, there you go. Okay, so right now we're gonna fake the jab, come in with the roundhouse, split entry. Best. Yeah, uh, and then you can, yeah, there you go. But more, it's more about hitting the joint, putting, and then getting out and getting into the next move. Okay. So, sp split entry, uppercut, cross, quarter turn, hook, cross, uppercut, cross, elbow, knee, side kick, and swing through hook. Nice. A very sea lot or Filipino way of doing an elbow. After we do the cross, we're not gonna retract it back as if we were doing like a karate move. It'd be more of a cross elbow, goes right into it. Cross elbow. Cool. Split, uppercut, cross, quarter turn, cross, uppercut, cross elbow, knee, side kick. Nice. So you're gonna do a jab, cross. So yeah, okay. so the jab, we're gonna just parry it, and then the cross, we're gonna do outside deflection, pock, which means slap back fist. So that's the first part of it. So jab, cross. So jab, outside, talk, back fist. Now we're going to stay sticky here. I'm going to parry this inside and open it up. And I'm going to do a cross to her face, but she's going to slip to her left. Then we're going to do a Hawkeye. Hawkeye here. Then we switch positions. So we have another section after that, but let's do that first. So jab, cross, jab, Outside, pock, back fist, open it up, cross, Hawkeye, turn around. Now I'm gonna do a front round. So lead hand, front round. And once we get better, we can add a little jump. Hawkeye is kind of like a, a retracting hook kick. So. Parry, outside, back, open it up, cross, Hawkeye, front round, front round. So now let's jump on, jump on the next one. All right, so. Jab, pop, pop, bang, bang, whoo, bing, bing, bing. After the Hawkeye, step back with that back leg and then you can go into. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. So, jab, pop, 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 bing, open it up, whoo, pop. Yeah. Okay, so the next combo is actually going to be a kicking combo. Um, and I guess I'll explain it right now. So the first one, we're gonna do a twist kick. So make sure the hips are really open for this. You're gonna twist, kick, that's the twist kick. Let's just do a couple of those first. Two, three, four, five. And I'm using the rear leg. So the next part of the kick combo is twist kick, roundhouse, step down, spinning hook, and then roundhouse. So I've been training Capoeira under Alfred Kendricks at uh, Fit Arts. You guys should check him out, he's pretty awesome. He's um, one of the best, definitely. Uh, so let's do some basic Capoeira. Yeah. And this is some stuff that I learned from Alfred. So first thing is just um, a Jenga. So from here, we're gonna keep it hip distance. Some people like to cross over, but I was taught actually keeping it uh, train tracks in order to have more balance. So we're gonna do a couple Jingas here. And then we're gonna stop on this side. Then we're gonna step and we're gonna do a de front, which is like a circular kick. And let's just do another round of Jinga. Jinga, stop here, step in, a de front. Again, one more. Pop. Step in, a de front, and Jinga. So the next thing we're gonna do is called coquinina, and we're gonna come here, step down, and cover our face in case someone attacks us. 
and then come back up. Back into a Jenga. And let's do the same side, Coconina. Down and up. And one more time here. Pa. All right, next one we're gonna do is from the Coconina, we're gonna do a hole, which is to evade like a kick or to move out of position. So let's just do that from Coconina here and hole. Good. Nice. Cool. So now we're gonna learn a hole into a mealua. So from Coconina here, we're gonna open up, hole. Now this left leg's gonna do a circular kick called the mealua, and then we're gonna come back up. Again, Coconina, hole, mealua. Cool. That's awesome. Cool. Okay. So now let's add it all together. Yeah, let's do it. So we're going to do Jenga. One, two. Now we're going to do Aul de French here. Back into Jenga. Coconina. Aul. Mealua. Good. So that was a really awesome training session. A lot of stuff in a short amount of time. So good luck, everyone. I have one more thing uh, to show you that I do for recovery. Awesome. Cool. Okay. <laughs> We are at Sun Spa Tanning in Sherman Oaks. Um, usually I like to come here to use the infrared sauna. Um, and basically it helps me uh, recover. It helps me with my joints that are usually sore from hitting the ground after a long day of work um, or training hard. I come here to recover. It's good for circulation. It helps uh, recover faster on your joints. And it actually helps um, detoxify lactic acid. Uh, that your muscles accumulate from workout. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. Uh, can I try it? Yeah, of course. Yeah. All right, so I'm about to go into the sauna. It's all set for me, so here I go. The harder you train, the more you have to recover and rejuvenate your body, whether that's meditation or infrared sauna. Next time on Hero Train. <laughs> gain something from this episode whether it was footwork or a new kick that you learned I really hope that you are taking something from each episode and you're able to use it in your lives in your career to create your own style your own workout whatever is best for you I'm here showing you how several great athletes train that doesn't necessarily mean that's exactly what you need to do but if you can take little bits and pieces from each person blend it all together make it your own creation that will be best for you and I definitely recommend the infrared sauna. It was amazing and my body felt so much better afterwards. So if you're ever in the Los Angeles area, definitely check out Sunspot Tanning. There's several locations. If you guys haven't watched the giveaway video, you definitely need to do that to learn how to win some cool prizes. Please do subscribe and I will see you next time. Kick ass and stay classy.